Okay, I'm excited. Yesterday, I went to the Senior Citizen on Dorchester Road. It's near the road that comes out from the airport on Dorchester Road. And it's a fairly new center. But I went by there for the first time yesterday to see what they had going on. And I am going to join now that I know what they have going on. This is their schedule for September. And of course it's going to change, so I'm not going to put the schedule up there. But just for example, on Mondays they have Early Bird Fit, Aqua Zumba Gold, Aqua Yoga Stretch, Chair Yoga, Mat Pilates, and Tai Chi. That's just Mondays. Tuesdays they have Water Aerobics, Chair Yoga, Total Fit, and Tai Chi. Wednesday they have Early Bird Fit, Aqua Fitness, Yoga, Zumba, Balance, Fit for Active Adults, and Aqua Strength and Cardio. Thursdays, Tai Chi, Total Fit, Water Arthritis, Yoga, Friday, Early Bird Fit, Aqua Fitness, Core, Zumba, Chair Yoga, and Balance and Strength. And those are just the, the exercise classes. They also have open pool times here. There's a lot of open pool time. It's a small pool, um, so you won't be doing laps in it. We've also got, let's see, cooking classes, Medicare questions. People come in. Um, experts in different fields and answer questions new and presentation on different topics so they have someone doing a, a presentation on medicare they have a foot doctor coming in they have someone from carta the bus system coming in to explain bus routes and what they do to help senior citizens um pinac pinacle pinacle uh, they have a lot of games they have chess and mahjong and bridge um pickleball sewing class beginner's bridge find your zen coloring you know the trend with color books um lots and lots and lots of th things you can find something to do all the time now the membership for this fitness center is ten dollars a month or a hundred dollars a year for North Charleston residents. North Charleston's a big city. Um, it's also not the only one in North Charleston. They just opened a new one on Antler Drive. Um, and I haven't been to that one yet, but my membership at this fitness center on Dorchester is also good for the fitness center on Antler Drive. Um, if you are a North Charleston resident, it's $100 a year or 10 a month. If you are not a North Charleston resident and you want to join, it's 20 a month or 200 a year. So it's much less than a fitness center and much more fun um, than your average fitness center. So I can sell you a house in a senior community, and I am happy to do that. But the main benefit you get from the senior community is their community center, which I promise you this one is better if you can live in North Charleston. Now, to live in North Charleston, I looked up the area that's closest to where this fitness center is, which, by the way, is very close to the airport and also very close to Joint Base Charleston if you are retired military you might like doing your shopping at the commissary um so i looked up on mls houses in that area and i found i also i looked up in that area and one story houses because most seniors don't want a two-story house if you want a two-story house with a master bedroom down, I can probably find you that. But for this search, I just did one-story houses. So, for example, I have this one that is $138,440 square feet. Now, granted, it's an older house. has an outside workshop, fence, porch. 
Florida room for 138000 Now, you will probably not find houses in that price range pretty much anywhere else in Charleston, but North Charleston, you still can find a good deal. Um, a lot of these houses are in Ladson, which is not far from this fitness center, but I'm trying to find the ones that are just really, really close to it. Um, here's one. And it is 99.9. It's in Vista Park subdivision. 1,358 square feet, one story brick. Older, of course. Any new house is not likely to be brick, and it's going to be way more than 100000 way more than $200,000. Um, let's see what else we got. This one's $180,000, $189,000. It's in Pepper Hill which is very near uh, a big super church we have here in Charleston Cathedral. Also near the, the base and this fitness center, this community center. Got Raymond Drive, 138,440 square feet. Another older brick house. Uh, Dorsey Avenue, 145,338 square feet. This one appears to have vinyl siding. And in the same area, we do have something. Now, this one's very near me. It's a very large house. I looked at it yesterday. It's about $200,000. Um, it's in a good location for this fitness center, though. Of course, by the time you watch this video, the house will probably be gone. Houses are selling really, really fast now once they're on the market. If they're priced right and they look good, they sell very fast. Um, Green Bay, I'm not familiar with that. It is 109,925 square feet near the community center. This one looks new, but it was built in 2007. It's a vinyl siding house in Brookdale, 1,735 square feet, 217.5. Then we've got, all of these are right around the same price. So, somehow I got some two-story houses in here. They should be all one stories. Shadow Lane. 212,000 Long Shadow Lane in Park Hill Place. 1,533 square feet, 212,000. So there are some affordable houses near this community center, and it's an awesome, awesome community center. I'll put a couple clips from when I was there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Uh, I'm waiting for Hurricane Florence to come to Charleston, so I had to have something to keep me occupied, right? And I can't go to the gym because it's closed. Everything's closed. Everything in Charleston is closed right now. Everything. Um, I think hospitals are still open and fire departments still open, but even Walmart closed, if you can believe that. Every Walmart in town closed at midnight last night. And it is Tuesday. We're not expecting the hurricane before Thursday. But better safe than sorry, I guess. I hope you enjoyed it. Not a water class going. You can come in and use the pool and just 
do your own thing. That's nice. And you're open till seven at night. This classroom, they use it for jewelry making. It includes all the supplies. They do knitting, crocheting. They do um, art, paint, sketching, and stuff. And we've got a class where they do all kinds of card games, like bridge and space. I saw there were a lot of card games on there. And, um, and then we've got chess and checkers. And b back behind here, we've got a um, pickleball court. Have you ever heard of pickleball? I've heard people say they have pickleball, but I don't know what it is. You, you, it's like a small tennis court. We can walk out there if you want to. You want to walk out there or you want to just look out the window? I'll it's just look out the window. Yeah, it's just like I that. probably won't be a pickleball player. Well, it's these big paddles and um, sort of like ping pong, but they're big. And you use a wiffle ball and um, hit it back and forth like badminton or ping pong. Oh, and the court's smaller yeah. than tennis court. For pickleball. I might be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves it.